There is a lot of talk of late on the African continent about the fact that Africans are awakening. There is a lot of talk about the fact that we are woke. But the question that I'd like to ask you is, almost a hundred years ago, a man called Marcus Garvey rose and told Africans that they must unite. Unite in their control of resources. Unite as nations. Unite their imaginations, their dreams, aspirations, and capabilities to grow in Africa and a race that will be able to self-determine and compete against other races. A man called Kwame Nkrumah came and said the same message. And another by the name of Malcolm X said the same. But the question is, after almost a century since the rise of Marcus Garvey, has Africa achieved unity? Do we control our resources? Do we unite in our aspirations, dreams, and have we elevated Africa into a continent and a race that can compete and self-determine against other races? The truth of the matter is we have failed. We have failed because we have remained divided. We have continued to work as 54 different states that continue to be subjugated. This is why the French continue to have 14 colonies on the African continent. It is why 36 African countries have got American bases in AFRICOM on their soil. It is why many African countries continue to sell their resources, their institutions for debt to countries like China. And the question that I'm now challenging you the woke generation with is what are we going to do about it the reason we've got wars on the african continent is because we're being divided for conquest the reason we've got sanctions on the african continent is that all the independent knowledge and education the power to take control of our resources can be destroyed so that africa can continue to be colonized by our Western colonizers. This is why now we need to rise. Remember that you, the African American, with all your paper money, the greatest wealth among all black nations, only have paper money, but the true wealth is in Africa. The true wealth is the reason why Africa is under sanctions and war, the one that Europeans want to keep for themselves. You need to bring your paper money, your skill, your knowledge, your frustration back to Africa to invest it in the control of real wealth and real resources in the form of the oil, the diamonds, coal, lithium, cassiterite, and all the other resources that the Western worlds are fighting to control in Africa. Your paper money can be leveraged into machines, skills, technology, and the knowledge that Africa needs in order to move and prosper. You, the Caribbean, with your skill, power, determination. You, the Jamaican, the first people to resist European colonialism. You, the Haitian, the very first black peoples to defeat a European army. You are the answer to Africa's problems. You, the European African, with all that you've learned and earned, the basketball player, the soccer player, the sportsman, the singer, the musician, the actor, with all your billions of dollars, are the investment that Africa needs to stop its dependency on the colonizer. It's about time that we rose. And I'm saying that Marcus Garvey's dream can be fulfilled because when he dreamt it, not a single country, not a single African country was independent. When he dreamt it, not many black billionaires existed, if any. But today we've got black billionaires. Today, the richest man in Africa is a black man. 
We have what it takes and the capacity that it takes to grow our continent into being a continent that can be respected, can self-determine, control its resources, control the processing of those resources and create currencies based on those resources to be the leading economy in the world. And with that, we can industrialize, grow up the technology curve and begin to create the machinery, the tools to defend the sovereignty of this continent. And now I say it's time that we unite. We have countries like Zimbabwe, under U.S. war sanctions to make it unattractive for any African to come because Europeans are preserving it for themselves. But I'm inviting you, my African-American brother, you Africans in the diaspora, you Africans on the continent to say, come and take advantage of the greatest reserves of lithium, chrome, gold, true wealth, land, an opportunity to develop infrastructure for us to create wealth as a people, for yourselves, for the advancement of Africa. The time to awake is now, but awakening takes action, pride, investment, development, innovation to give our people power. This is the time.